What's up everybody? So today's finally the day. We're gonna put an exhaust on Luke's truck. Now it's been, I don't know, we've been mentioning a couple, couple videos. videos. We've been waiting on a pipe to come in so we could do the exhaust. It's just been staying straight header, which... It hasn't gone anywhere because no, of that. And it's, and it's stupid loud. We can't be driving around yeah. like that. That's, yeah. that's just asking for it. So we've been waiting for this pipe to come in. It finally came in today and we're gonna install it. But here is the exhaust piece that we've been waiting for. You can see it's got some like different bends in it. Now I suppose if you had the space and you had a pipe bender, you could probably make this yourself. Main reason we need this is just because it has a flange already up there that'll bolt to the uh, pace setter header. And then this back half here, I'm thinking we'll probably have to cut off because I don't think that'll work Second with what we've got. So here is the rest of the piping that we managed to pick up. This here was all from AutoZone. Um, I believe it's like two and a quarter pipe. So you have this long pipe here and it just basically mimics, mimics the old exhaust on the truck, which I don't think this one was factory at all. It was no, somebody else's no, homemade. No, it was not. <laughs> but it obviously worked, which I think the old design, bit. yeah, will work for us. I mean, you can see it obviously it, rusted and fell apart. That's yeah. definitely not reusable or going back on the truck. But uh, here's all the exhaust we have now. So we're gonna go ahead, install all this on the truck today and hopefully it sounds good. I'm not really- I'm just down with it sounding like how, whatever. I want it sound good. I hope it sounds good. We did pick up a muffler for it, so it's not just gonna be straight pipe. We got the Magnaflow exhaust over here, which... Not just any muffler. Ooh. Crazy boy chips on it. Oh yeah, Chip Foo. So you know it's legit. So we got Chip Foo's Magnaflow muffler here, which I don't really know how this is gonna sound. I've never heard any exhaust clips of this. Um, but we're gonna go ahead, weld this up, put this on the car, and uh, like I said, I hope it sounds good. We also got actual correct size rod this time. Yeah, Last, th last time we did the SC300, this, this did not work. That was... Small. We measured it too small. Yeah, we, we, got the, we got the correct sizes. So I think first things first is go ahead, cut that flange off the end, and then we can weld it up to this section of pipe here. And I think we can go and bolt it up just to make sure everything's straight and then just see where the muffler and everything lines up. Maybe we can turn it on just to get a see? little exhaust Ooh. clip. Because that's basically the straight like pipe that. at that point. Yeah. I mean, it'll come out to maybe the end of the cab. Right about here. So we'll see how it sounds. Let's go ahead, cut that off, get it welded, and go from there. It took a lot of cutting, but we got it off. So uh, I guess next step up is to go ahead and make sure that fits over there. Oh, no wonder. And then we can go and weld it together. Yeah, some Look thick how steel. Thick that is. All right, so we managed to get the end cut off, and we got it all mocked up here. Um, we got our two, well, I guess our lines on here, so you can see exactly how this is supposed to go, and it won't like sag or hang or anything. So we got marked here and here, as well as two more on the other side, so we'll be able to line it up perfectly, and then go ahead and weld up that section there. That way it remains straight, and uh, we should be able to get this whole thing bolted up and give it kind of a sound clip, I guess, just to hear what it sounds like straight piped. And uh, then once that's done, we can go ahead and put the muffler on, see what that sounds like, and go from there. So I'm really hoping this sounds good. I think straight pipe might, might sound good. I feel like it's gonna be really loud still. Probably. It'll be cool, but it'll be really loud. I'm really hoping this muffler sounds good. It's not crap. Just don't let us down, Chip Foos. <laughs> Yeah, we got a problem. No gas. I don't think there's any gas in this. I thought we just filled it up. Maybe not. I mean, the last time we used it was on the SC300, which... A while ago. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if these tanks leak. I remember closing that valve and everything was fine, and it's out. So we'll be right back. A few moments later. We got a fresh tank. We're good to go now. It leaked all the way here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we are back now. We got our fresh tank of gas. As you guys can see here, everything is set up and operational on how it needs to be. And we have this all set up here so we can go ahead and finally start welding this and get this thing completed. Okay, so we got the mid pipe here. It is now welded up to this section of pipe here. Um, had a little bit of a challenge because this pipe is, I wanna say like an inch and three quarters. And then this pipe here is two inches, and uh, you guys can kind of see there, the welds on there are definitely booger. They're not the prettiest. I didn't really clean it or anything, but I just stuck it together. I mean, it works for now. It's what it is. 
This isn't like a it's permanent not, thing yeah, or permanent engine permanent. or anything. So just for function. Yeah, it, it'll work for now. Um, so next up, we're gonna go ahead, weld this section of pipe here, which should be much easier just because it's the two inch to a coupler to another, what, I guess that goes to two and a quarter, don't it? So it's getting a little bit bigger yep. and then that'll go ahead and connect to the muffler. But for now, we're just gonna put this together, bolt it up and then see what it sounds like straight piped. those welds done I think they look a lot better compared to that one down there I mean this is what it looks like when it's like actually flat and tight around it so it looks pretty good I think we can go ahead mount this on the car and then see what it sounds like as street pipe hopefully good well we just managed to get that whole pipe that we just created bolted up so it is completed now it is technically straight pipe it comes to about at the end of the cab I don't know if you guys can see it underneath there light kind of maybe I think they can see it I don't know I don't know. No, it's tucked up there a little ways, but it's just right there at the end of the cab. So we'll go ahead and uh, fire this up. It's kind of like a, a tractor almost. It's a little my tractor, dude. but I don't know. There you guys get to hear what the that the straight straight pipe sounds like. So uh, onto the muffler. Yep, let's get that muffler welded on next. Okay, so we just managed to get these all welded up. They're still hot, as you can see, that one is smoking still. Um, I see these welds turned out pretty good for not welding in a long time. A little bit closer look. I don't really want to touch it because it's hot. Yeah, you guys can see there. I'm pretty happy pretty with clean. it. Looks good. So uh, I think Luke and I came to the conclusion of what we're gonna do. So we have this pipe here. We had to flatten out that little section right there just a little bit to kind of make clearance for it. It wasn't 100% perfect and uh, just to make sure that flange hole, that flange of there would fit, and then that little down, I don't know what you call that. It's a, it's a piece that connects to the header, and uh, we got that bolted up to it just because it wouldn't line up properly. But once you get that bolted down with the gasket inside there, it'll go on smoothly. And our other thought that we had, we wanted to make this so it could be like detachable. Yeah, so we can do straight pipe and muffler. So our thought is, since the front half connects with like one of those little whatever that U C like clamp thing yeah. is, I'm not sure what that's called. Um, it connects up there. So I'm thinking we're gonna pick up another one of those and put it on this end. That way it can just slide on and off when we do want to take it off so you can make it loud or, or quiet, whatever you want to do, and uh, go from there. And then as far as this exhaust tip goes, it's basically just, you just screw it on. on. So that's removable anytime. So not really too concerned about that. It just kind of forces it down to the ground rather than mm -hmm. having it just go straight back. So I think next up, let's go ahead We'll put this pipe on, get it mounted, and have that done. And then this one should just be able to slide on next. And then, and can... then we can go from there, I guess. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and bolt this one on right now. Okay, so we just managed to get the exhaust completed on the truck. I think it looks pretty good. Everything seems to line up properly. The only thing that's uh, not so great is kind of the booger welds on the hangers. But hey, they're they functional. Work. Exactly. They're functional. So everything is working now. Um, I'm really curious to see how this sounds because headers, just straight headers, oh, way too loud. Man. That just was ear piercing. And then adding that little mid pipe and stuff helped a Better. little bit. But then we added that farther section. So now it is like technically straight pipe or whatever. That calmed it down a little bit yeah. more. So I'm really hoping this muffler calms it down and makes it sound good and it's just not like straight trash. Um, now the muffler itself is completely removable. So if we want to do straight pipe, we can go straight pipe. The only thing we need to get is just that little that C -clamp, clamp piece, which we'll show you. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess kind of show you guys the underside of the truck to see everything that we basically did underneath there. I mean, you guys saw us weld it and everything, but we'll go ahead and show you guys the, the whole completed. completed project. So you guys can see, I got a light underneath here. I'm gonna try to lay under here. 
there's all the piping and stuff. You can see like where our, our welds are. This is the muffler section where we still need to get a C-clamp or whatever those things are called, muffler clamp thing, and uh, get that so it stays in place. And then of course, <laughs> the booger welds on the uh, muffler itself or the hanger. This one's not bad, but this is that one weld that we did where it was mid-pipe to uh, this, what is this, like a two inch, two and a quarter? I think so. Everything else looks fine up there. You can see the flange lines up perfect, so we're good there. And uh, it gives us plenty of clearance in the back. Hopefully you guys can see back there. But I think this should work, and it should uh, be fine. Oops, sorry, I don't want you guys looking at the ceiling. But I think uh, everything will be good. So I guess you want to go and get an exhaust clip now. You guys can kind of hear what it sounds like. Fire her up. Yeah, I hope it sounds better, yeah, or at do. least sounds cleaner. All right. All right, let it rip whenever you're ready. Okay. Oh, hang on, dude. Well, that was definitely not a phone call that I wanted to have. We're gonna have an update video for you guys here shortly after that, just because it kind of changes a lot of things, so stay tuned. Um, I don't wanna be negative right now. I wanna stay positive just because we got the exhaust done. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this, <laughs> this does suck. You guys will hear it. We'll probably post it up in the next video, so stay tuned. But for now, I guess uh, let's, let's get, get this. Beast. Yeah, let's get this exhaust clip out of the way and see what it sounds like. I hope it sounds really good, just because will. headers are garbage. But hopefully, this muffler sounds great. So you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I think they're ready too. Not bad. Wait, we were far. It's much uh, quieter. It's not like it's really quiet, but it's. Ooh. it's right in the middle. I like that. Yeah. Give it a little rap. I think that sounds pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That sounds sick. Way better than open header. Way better, much better. Okay, now we managed to get the truck back on the ground. Everything seems to be fitting fine. I don't see anything like any issues with clearance or nothing. Um, exhaust isn't hitting anything, so it should be good. The only thing left that we still have to get is just a little- That C-clamp? Yeah, to button up to that muffler so it doesn't fall off. I mean, the one cool thing is we did make this so the muffler is removable so it can be straight piped, but- yeah, so if you want to be loud and obnoxious, <laughs> we can be loud and obnoxious. Um, the muffler, I don't think it sounds too bad. I think, I think it sounds, sounds good. good. And I, like uh, I mean, I'd like to get some outside shots of us mm -hmm. driving around. Maybe we'll put that in here at the end of the video so you guys can kind of hear some sound clips of that. But uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to have a huge update. Um, you guys can probably tell by the tone. <laughs> yeah. It's not like the best thing in the world. It's not the worst, but it does suck. Um, we'll tell you more about it here in the next video, so stay tuned for that. But otherwise, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.